So point. let me let me talk about we could have fixed this. You know that, right? We could have avoided this. And and maybe you could tell me your opinion on this. Okay. Okay. All the committee had to do to guarantee us two great games was punish Georgia for not winning the, their championship game and make them fourth and say, we're going to get a rematch. I know we just watched this game, but we're going to get a rematch. And if we would have gotten Cincinnati, Michigan, and Alabama, Georgia on New Year's Eve night, A, I think we get the same national champion we're going to get when when the game is over Monday, okay? But but B, we just, right now, we're – we're destroying college football. We're tearing everything up and everybody's up in arms. And some people are saying we have to expand it because this is stupid because look how bad these games are. And then the other half is saying we don't need to expand it. We need to get rid of the playoff completely because there's no more than just two game, two teams that matter. But if, if we would have made Georgia Alabama rematch and say, Georgia, you didn't win your conference, you're going to be fourth. And, and we let the other two play a, I think we'd have got two, Outstanding football games. Second, okay, okay. we would have gotten a storyline in the national championship that would have been unbelievable no matter what. A, you get two, you get least guaranteed get one fresh team in. Okay. And that fresh team is either the little engine that could, all right, or a historical blue blood that that is that is on an unbelievable run and has a massive, massive national fan base. So either way, you're you're going to get the same champion you would have gotten no matter what. Would Monday night, next Monday, be you know a, a better game than this? Probably not. But nobody's going to know that until the halfway point of the game. So you're you're still going to get a first half that's a pretty decent football game, probably. And and then <laughs> we're going to get a different outcome. Like so, why, why would you not do that? Why are you destroying your sport just because you don't want a rematch early? But I don't, you're okay I don't with think the rematch late. Um, oh yeah, no, you know that's it. You no, no, know, one hundred percent definitive. That was it. They didn't want to see Alabama and Georgia rematch, and this way we possibly don't. But everybody in the world says no. Now you're going to get the rematch, and it's going to be for the title. I think that the idea of the playoff is to get the four best teams in and whoever yes. makes it goes, but right? So the four uh, best teams would still be in. I didn't no, change I, I understand. That. I understand. But what I'm saying is why would you guarantee either Michigan or Cincinnati a national championship appearance and and force a rematch right there? Like if Alabama and Georgia get there, then they earned it, right? Like these have but been no, no, the two no, best but teams in the you could You could absolutely forget what we saw Saturday. You could absolutely justify the fact, or, or Friday, whatever the hell night uh, New Year's Eve was. You could absolutely say Georgia didn't deserve or earn the three spot. You you could say that. You could justifiably make that argument. Yeah, but can you? Yeah, Why I, could I you see. Not? I see where the you're other team from. is undefeated. The other team didn't trail most of the season. Like they won their conference, they won all of their games. You could have made that argument pretty easily. And you know you would have gotten two much better football games. I don't need hindsight to see that. What do you think the point spread would have been if it was Cincinnati, Michigan before the season started? Or not before the season started, but but before before the playoffs happened Friday night. Uh, I think Michigan probably would have been favored around six. Okay, six. All right. Yeah. Now what what's point? No, I don't. A, I don't think it would have been that much. I think it would have been more than a field goal, less than a touchdown. But I think we're talking four or five. But we're we're splitting hairs now. Now we're yeah. picking. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, and we know what we're getting with Alabama, Georgia. That's it. That's it. We're going to get a two or three point line before yeah. the first point, but it probably would have been Bama favored because Bama just beat the hell out of them. But that's fine. That's fine. Like you would have gotten two much better games, and your national championship storyline is so much better. The sport overall is it a hundred percent healthier place if you just say. You two boys just played for the SEC title game. We're not having an all-SEC championship. Mix it up, play it again, and if one of you win it all, you win it all. But you got to go through them twice. I I will say this. I, I don't disagree with your premise, but I do disagree with forcing them for the sole reason of getting a different team in the national title game. Like well, that's the national the title, reason. you have to earn. No, there's there's multiple reasons right. why. A, you say it all the time. Everyone else, it's a television show. Well, if yeah. it's a damn television show, give us a television show worth watching. 
I, oh, I, I agree with I that. The end of the Alabama game was because the next one was coming up. Other yeah. than that, I didn't give a shit about it either. What was it? It was uh, it, there's 16 semifinal games, and what was it? 11 or 12 of them have been like 17 points or more. I believe is right. And, and y'all can double check the numbers. All the but it would have but it would have made it would have made it, it would have just made for much better a TV. It would have been healthier for the sport, and I think it would have been healthier for the sport to not have one conference in the championship. Like yeah, like if you get to a twelve team playoff and you just get two teams from the same conference, like we didn't manipulate that. You know, like you can't. You can't, but now there's four. There's four, and unless we ever allow three teams from one conference to get in, I would just basically say, look, we're just going to put the the two teams that are in the same conference, they're going to play. I don't care if they played last week. I don't care if they played last month. I don't care how many times. I don't care if they played twice, if they played in the regular season, and now they're playing again. I don't give a damn how many times they played. They're going to match up, and the other side's going to match up, and that's just what's going to happen. That's It's an interesting idea. And I don't think you're necessarily wrong. It gives you a whole other week to just a whole different storyline, right? Well, and it's not just a different storyline. The the reason hang on I'm about to call <laughs> the the reason you're able to say this is going to be a different game is because from the SEC title game, from the end of the regular season to the SEC title game, you get one week by, right? Yeah. They take a week off and they play the championship game, correct? Well, I mean yeah, you're talking about from the playoff to to the national. No, 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 no. The SEC title game is played literally the week after the the regular yeah, yeah, season. Yeah, there's ends. there's no bye okay. week. There's no off week. No it's just week. that's it. Regular so season. This game is going to be played a month later. So I don't care that those teams just played. We still got three weeks that are going to go by before they play again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't think there's any anything wrong with that. But I don't think that. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with the way that it's happened. Like if if Michigan and oh, Cincinnati no, but deserved bullshit, bullshit. To- <laughs> eighty ninety percent of the people absolutely you're an Alabama fan, Gary. Ninety percent of the people that have watched this sport and love this sport and watch watch what just happened, a hundred percent of them all realize they just wasted their New Year's Eve. Okay, I, no, that's that's I don't think anybody bullshit. feels like they. If you would have given them, if you would have given them, <laughs> Gary, Jesus Christ, are you <laughs> kidding me? Are who you trying who to sell watched, me on this shit? Who watched that game past the the second quarter? I mean, uh, but okay, now that's a problem then. A, all the people that were there, and B, all the people that have to cover this thing. Okay, so well, justifying the fact that the game was a snooze job, now that's the reason that it's okay. Oh, well, we didn't ruin their New Year's Eve because nobody watched it after the second quarter. So everyone so, just turned it off and went and did something else. So that's no, no, no. great for the sport. This gets back to: is it is it most deserving, or is it the best teams? No, but once like, you get the four, who gives a shit what order they're in? I want the best matchups. I want the best games. Uh, okay, they're all four got a chance. Listen, they all got to go two and to win the title. Okay, true. That's it. Once you get into this, I don't give a shit anymore. All right, I just okay. want you to manipulate okay. it to where I get three good games. And if I get two, if the option is I get one great game at the end, but I got to go through two shitty games, or I can get two great games and I got to get a shitty game at the back end. Give me the two great games and the one shitty game. Okay, I can I can see where you come from. Shitty national championship games all the time. Oh, we you're have shitty Super right. Bowls all the time. <laughs> you do have a very, very good point there. Yeah, that's it's something to look at. I, I look at this. I don't think the playoff is broken. I think what you get from Alabama, Georgia being in the national title game is uh, a much quicker uh, everybody come back to the table and let's talk about this playoff expansion, right? Well, what's stupid is is the people that are fighting the playoff expansion are the people that would benefit from the playoff expansion, exactly. which tells me. There's too much bloody corruption going on in these damn bowl games. Yeah, yeah, I think when you might be on something. people are voting against their own interest, they're doing that because they're being paid to vote against their own interest. All right? That's true with your local politicians, your national politicians, people that run this stupid-ass sport, or anything else in the world, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, you might when be on something When you're voting against that. your own interest, it's because someone's paying you to do so. It's uh, and that needs to roll up a big ass red flag. Yes, and, and we have no centralized uh, authority for college football. Everybody does their own thing. The issue that we have for the playoff, which is why it took forever to get to a fourteen playoff anyway, is because it took 
an act of Congress to be able to. And, and what we got was Alabama LSU in 2011, and that's what finally yes. jumped it over, right? So we did get Alabama and Georgia, who that was not a rematch. But now you have another national title rematch for the first time in a decade, and it just so happens to be two SEC teams again. We'll see what happens from there. I, I do think that something like this, where these two teams, the the one conference, gets celebrated basically for the entire week, and everybody has to listen to it, and then they'll come back to the table again in January, and they'll say, Not just okay. everybody has to listen to it. Everybody else doesn't even get a voice. Yeah. Like they don't they don't even get a say. Like if you run a sports talk show that talks major college football in the Midwest, what are you doing today? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing the rest of this week? Are you just taking a vacation? I think some people will. Uh <laughs> how do you but how do you because how do you face how do you face your viewers? How do you face the people that are your fans that follow your that follow you, what you do? It's uh if you're in the big, because because and we're talking to the ACC, we're talking to the mid, uh, the 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 Big Ten, and I'm talking I'm talking to the Big Twelve because because those fan bases aren't on the West Coast and those fan bases aren't in the Northeast, but they are in the South and they are in the in in the in the Midwest. Yeah, they absolutely are. They care about this sport. They care a lot about this damn sport, and they're being completely left out of the conversation. Yes. And if you think I'm being rude to the people out west, then show me your fan base. Show me your pride. Now, th- but this is what I'm saying is that the expansion needs to happen, not because we're going to get a bunch of better games, et cetera, but because it, it includes everybody much but more so. we will get a bunch of better games. I think, like, no, people, I think so as no, well. Do, like, you, do you know how amazing the, the first round of the playoffs will be? And do you know how many? Because right now we've got two, two great teams. Well, out of those 12, Let's say those two teams win all of the games that they play and they end up matching up and beating each other anyway. Okay, that's fine. But that means all of the rest of the games, the separation between three and 16 in this country right now is nothing. Absolutely nothing. You 100% could get an upset on any of those games. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Like, I I think that it would absolutely do wonders. But a game that involved Georgia or Alabama would be amazing to watch. All of them. And you at least get different portions of the country that get maybe somewhat invested in the stories of the teams that do win, even if it's not their team, right? It's the same thing with the NFL. Yes. Yes. So that's why the Super Bowl is such a big draw every freaking year. One, because the brand itself is already huge. But two, people get invested in the storylines all the way through the playoffs. And they've got Everybody got to participate. Yes. Exactly. It was a tournament that you were actually at least a part of. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.